Hey guys, how's it going on? My name is William Osaino, and today we are the third largest statue in the world, the Legion statue. The one on the left right here is the sitting board, the other side. So let's go near and explore this magnificent statue. So be sure to come along with me until the end. Hey guys, now we are at the third largest statue in the world, Legion Sajja Buddha statue. Uh, this is a standing Buddha statue that is 116 meters high. It's very high. And there are 31 flow in it, representing the 31 existence in the Theravada religion. So this, in this statue, we got these walls painted with this mural of showing the Buddhism hells and the punishment they got, whoever they are there. And also you got this, um, the human existence and the God existence. They are all inside this border statue. It's about the COVID and stuff, so we cannot go inside. But next time, if these crises are done, I'll show you guys inside more. Now this was built by the leader monk who named uh, Boricara Seattle and it is very massive that it was admired by the Yushiki Buddha statue in Japan. I hope you guys know about that too. So yes, this is it. The third largest Buddha statue in the world. Legend such a Buddha statue. Now you might wonder how this magnificent statue was built. Well from the base to the sixteenth floor it was constructed by the Burmese engineer and they are all reinforcement concrete. And from the 16th to the 27th, it was built by the Chinese engineer. And from the 27th to the finish, the final touch was by the Burmese engineer. Now this is such a magnificent engineer and it is more more awesome because of its happenings. So now you can see when they were building a 22nd floor, there was an earthquake happens in here, Munyo. But the statue didn't even shake, didn't even make a shake. Then people say that's because of the the monk power. But however, the myth are this statue will still be the third largest statue in the world. What do you guys think this is? Well, this is the statue symbol which is lying. Now you can see this is the fit of the statue right behind there. So when they were building this, they try to make a symbol to measure the size, the length of the statue. So they want they try to make that so they put a symbol down here and then make another one up there. This is it. This is the symbol of the standing board. Now, you are seeing the reclining border, and this is in the same area as the standing border. So this is an equally built, which is 95 meters from the head to the toe, and it is actually also awesome. So if you're coming to the standing border, you should also come to here too. It is worth it to see this magnificent statue. Well, talking about this reclining border, I want to tell you guys two things. In Myanmar, in here, if you see reclining boulder, there are only two types. The one with the hand supporting the chin and reclining, like the one you're seeing right here. And this is representing that the Buddha is relaxing. It is a representing like that. But the one without supporting the hand means the boulder is about to pass away. So there are two types. So I, I hope when you come and visit, you really check those like reclining boulder. So yes, this is the reclining boulder and be sure to come and see this. Now you are seeing the 1,000 bow trees and the 1,000 boulder statues. And this is known as Mahabodhi Tatao and among them local people. Now this place actually have more than 1,000 of these many bow trees because people think this place need more green trees so they make it greener and also from the environmental conservation perspective too. And these are all built by the donators who are the followers of the monk Boy of Seattle. And now you can see this is such a very nice environment, very green, very quiet. So 
be sure to come here too. You can see the statue over there too, so it's very nice. With that, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If so, then stay tuned for my new awesome video like this. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!